hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you a new tool that i added on my website which is image to base 64 converter so this is a very handy tool guys if you want to convert any images onto base 64 code you can do it the live demo is given the link is given in the description of the video this is the link guys basically you can check uh, just select any image of your choice let's suppose if I select this image this is basically an image here if you see if I select this you will see all this uh, base64 code will be there and a copy to clipboard option is also there if I click copy to clipboard so a nice animation will happen and this is a dialog box good job your code is successfully copied so now you can simply paste it anywhere else you can choose any file here depending upon whether it's an image so this will change here you will see that so you will try to build this using suite alert 2 and jquery suite alert is basically a library which allows you to show these model windows it's a very basic library customizable and uh, pop-up window so we are using a cdn basically it useful for showing the success messages so let's start this video so basically the link is given guys you can get the source code and uh, let me just write this code so first of all basically include all the CDN guys which are necessary so we are basically using bootstrap CDN we are also using uh, jQuery CDN and also we are using sweet alert CDN as well simply do that and now we will write the actual code and uh, we will have this heading out there image to base64 converter then we will have a simple form guys and we will be giving a id to the form no id inside this we will have a input field input type of file so here we will upload an image file we will be giving a on change event handler so whenever the file changes you will execute this method encode file image file you will pass the actual image by the reference of this this will actually pass the image guys we will giving a bootstrap class of form control this is required so after this guys what will happen basically we will also be giving an id attribute to it of file so if you just open now you will see a input type of file sorry this needs to be input so we have choose file button guys where we can choose our file and then guys we have basically a text area where we will basically show the actual base 64 code so form control and id will be here base 64 code placeholder will be base 64 code and then guys we will have a button which will say copy to clipboard So when we click this button guys we will basically execute this method copy to clipboard so this button will also uh, execute this but, um, method btn btn primary btn block so these are basically bootstrap classes guys this will have a full width button a blue button you can also change it to danger so this will basically change it to red color so now we will basically write these two function guys it's a custom javascript code so first of all we will actually write the code for this function which is encode image file and we will pass the element we will create the file here element.files0 we will create a reader object guys we will make use of the file reader class which is available in the browser we will invoke the on load and event 
this contains a callback function basically it tells you the base64 code so reader dot result this is the actual thing which will be there you will say file dot value nothing first of all we will clear out and then we will basically say base64 code dot html is equal to reader dot result so now if you reload the application guys if I choose the image file let's suppose this one I think some error is taking place base64 code Let me check the function guys, encode image file. This is actual event, uh, sorry, function which takes place. Console log the element and also have alert statement, hi. So if I basically what will happen guys, if I change this, hi is there, if I choose the file. And check the console. So this control is returned in the console here. Oh, sorry, we forgot, guys. We also need to say reader dot read as data URL. We will need to pass the actual file element. That's also this was a error, guys. If you try to refresh now, basically select a file this base64 code will be there I think you can select any file a PDF file as well so yeah PDF file image file video file so every file has a unique base64 code attached to it so that's why it is alerting you so after doing this guys we also need to say the copy to clipboard button we need to have this function working as well because if I hit this button nothing happens so first of all we need to say copy text document dot get element by id base64 code and then copy the text select uh, select so it will select all the text and then we will say document dot execute command copy and now we will show a simple alert message to the screen to the user that your text is copied so well it takes an object title that good job text will be base64 code successfully copied icon will be success it can also be of uh, error as well but in this case you will now see if I choose the file so the it is copied now we can paste it anywhere else if I paste it here you will see that it is working so this was a tutorial guys so you can basically easily make this tool little website you can rank it on Google on a lot of money as well and in the paid code guys I have given this full interface how to build this and also the instructions on how to rank this tool so all the links are there you can check out the live demo and the payment links are there so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video